Laurier, Laurier, a little stutter step up, just exactly what settles it. Madison Hammond gonna try the keeper from Jamaica. Here's the penalty kick, yes. and a save by Snyder. Sydney Snyder, goalie of the UNCW women's soccer team, sat down and shared with us about her experiences as a young soccer player and how those experiences transitioned to her humble beginnings at UNCW, and how her talents earned her a spot on the Jamaican national team in the 2019 FIFA World Cup. I feel like everyone does rec soccer when they're younger and either you stick with it or you don't. So like all the kids just pour into the rec soccer in the fall and then I just stuck with it and I loved it. I actually did soccer and ballet and then it came to the point where my mom was like, you have to choose one and I chose soccer and she was like, are you sure? You don't want to do ballet? She was all into the ballet but I chose soccer but I bet she's thinking it's all worth it now. <laughs> Sydney described to us about how UNCW ended up being the perfect fit for her to continue her soccer journey. I wanted to go to a school that like you drive onto campus and you're on campus. Like a lot of bigger schools, like it's kind of like intermixed in a city and you're just like, are you on campus? Are you off campus? So I knew I wanted that, but that's it. I think it was everything like when I came on my visit the team was just super welcoming everyone I talked to even like strangers they were just really nice and polite and just super welcoming um, all over Wilmington and on campus and on my visit I just it just felt like home. Many people have popped the question about why Sydney was chosen to be on the team and she shut down all the talk by giving her own explanation. It was incredible um, I've been playing with them since I was 16. Um, started with the under 17s and worked my way up to the under 20s. And then last summer, um, I got called to like the full team and I went to my first camp and everything. I was so nervous. I don't think I've ever been more nervous in my entire life. And we were playing the US. Like even though it was the younger team, it was obviously they were still really good. Bad timing and the constant pressure really seemed to affect Sydney and her decision on taking the step toward her dream. So I said no because I was like, I feel like I can't travel and like focus on school. And I think I just made that kind of an excuse to myself, but I feel like I just thought I wasn't good enough. And then the next time they asked me, school calmed down. I wasn't committed yet. And I was talking to my mom about it and she was like, just go, like you'll be fine. They wouldn't ask you there if you weren't good enough. Really, she was better than what we had. You know, at the time. Okay. So we went ahead and brought her in, and um, and she was she's still going through some self confidence stuff because she's she's always has that issue when she was younger. She wasn't sure that this was worth doing. Or she just felt like she wasn't good enough because she just started playing goalkeeper at the time, and so but we needed her and we got it done and she got her passports, got everything sorted. And, she was on the U-17s going to Puerto Rico at the time. Although she faced adversity on the pitch, some questions came up about her race while playing for a predominantly black team. Like, I feel like it just didn't really have an effect. My coach made a really good point. Like, we're all Jamaican, we all have that blood. It's not our fault that our parents moved, like, out of Jamaica or whoever, our grandparents' parents moved and who they married and where they decided to live, but we still all have the same like heritage and blood. Our culture, is, the, our motto is out of many we are one. So, you know, we, we tend to stick on those mottos. Um, we had um, we had other kids in there that were white, so it wasn't, she wasn't the only one. Snyder's Jamaican Ties explains why the Jamaican national team was the perfect destination for her. Um, my Both my grandparents on my mother's side were born there. Um, they grew up there for a little bit and then they both moved to the States. And then that's where my mom was born and that's where I was born. UNCW women's soccer head coach Chris Neal has spent the last two years with Snyder at UNCW and she talks about his influence on her game and on her as a person. He's super like flexible and he's willing to work with me leaving, especially last season I missed a lot of the games because of traveling and qualifying, but he realized that this was a really big opportunity and would be a great experience and like he let me go and even though I did miss a lot of the games here obviously it was worth it in the end. We were, we were holding our breath 
here in Wilmington watching those games because we knew the impact of her performance on her, what it would be, and also what it would bring to our university and our program. It was going to bring tremendous publicity for this 19-year-old out of Division I soccer to go and make incredible saves against Brazil uh, on, in that first match, and she did. The time had come, and it was time for Schneider to show everyone why she was chosen. Um, I don't know, it kind of, it just, like, the call was made, it was kind of like a controversial call, like some people thought it shouldn't have been one, but I don't know, I just made my decision, I was like, okay, I'm going to go here, and then it worked out. After that save, social media made it a point to let Schneider know that they were watching. I was texting my friends, I was FaceTiming them and stuff like that, and you're like, you were trending on Twitter. And like all these people were like tweeting at me, like Usain Bolt, Hope Solo. So that was crazy to be recognized by like legends. The university and UNCW Athletics has supported and molded Schneider into the person she is today. You like change because of the environment you're in. So if you put yourself in a good environment, you'll change for the better. If you put yourself in a bad environment, you'll change for the worse. So I feel like UNCW is just such a good environment and the people here like make it a good environment so I feel like coming here has just overall changed me for the better. We provide every athlete the chance to grow as a student, as a person, as a young woman. It's up to those athletes to take advantage of everything that's all the resources that we give them. You know whether it's you know study hall oversight, whether it's strength and conditioning, whether it's nutrition, um, um, sport rehabilitation, and then the technical aspects of soccer. And Sydney is taking full advantage of all those areas to get better. Um, you know, like I said, she wants to be a pro and she knows that growth is a huge part of that. So um, she is maximizing everything that's available to her. So I'm guessing you're wondering what comes next for the UNCW goalkeeper. The next step is straight ahead and to the left of the net. Hopefully the plan, like I get drafted, I'll play for a little bit. I'm gonna try it, try it out. Hopefully everything works out and it goes really well and I love it. Um, but not everything goes smoothly in the world, so it doesn't. At least I got to say I tried it.